you want to collect feedback from your audience and you want an easy way to view it and potentially manipulate it later. What if you logged all of your incoming text messages into a Google Sheet? Here's what the app that we're going to build looks like. It's a Google Sheet that is connected to your Twilio phone number. Every time a new user texts you, a new row of data is created with the SMS ID, phone number, and the message. There's a lot of moving pieces involved, but since we're using a Twilio Code Exchange Quick Deploy, we'll be up and running in no time. We're going to build an application that logs incoming text messages sent to your Twilio phone number into Google Sheets. There's a variety of reasons why you might want to log incoming text messages. You might be collecting audience feedback or running a simple marketing campaign. In either case, you want people to be able to send a text into a number so you can log both their phone number and their message. All we need to create this application is a Twilio account, a Twilio phone number, a Google Cloud service account, a new Google Sheet, and a personal phone number to experiment with. Here's how logging incoming text messages into Google Sheets works at the highest level. The user texts your Twilio number, Twilio authenticates with your Google Cloud service account, and the body of the text along with the number it came from and its SMS ID are logged in a Google Sheet. The user then gets back a text, letting them know that the SMS was successfully received. There's quite a bit of authentication required to get Twilio and Google to talk to each other. Let me walk through that quickly as well. When we set up our Google Cloud Developer account, we'll need to create a new project, and in that project, create a new service. Within that service, we'll then enable the Google Sheets API and generate a private key. Twilio needs access to that private key in order to communicate with Google. We'll also need to create a Google Sheet. In order for Google to communicate with the Google Sheet you've created, it needs access to the Sheet. So you'll need to give permissions to edit the Sheet with the email address that's associated with your new Google service. In order to identify which Sheet and where to post the information from the text, Twilio needs to know the document name of the Google Sheet and the name of the specific Sheet where you want that information posted. As I said, it's a lot of specific information to gather up front, but it'll be worth it. Let's get started. We'll start in the Google Cloud platform and create a new project. I'll call mine Twilio Sheets. Next, from the project dashboard on the left, in the navigation menu, we'll head to IAM and Admin, and up to Service Accounts, and click on Service Accounts. From here, we'll want to click to create a service account up at the top. I'll give the service an account name of Twilio-Sheets. This will automatically populate the service account email address down below, and we can leave the account description blank. I'll hit Create and Continue. Next, we'll click Done. Then we'll click on the account that we just created and head over to Keys. In here, click to create a new key and select JSON as the type. Then click Create. This creates a JSON file that contains the keys that we'll need to use later. I'm gonna store them in a folder for safekeeping later. I've just created a directory called Twilio-Sheets that I will add that to. Next, we need to store the email address for the service account somewhere for safekeeping. Head back over to the Details tab, copy the email address here, and I'm just gonna temporarily paste it into a notepad document just to make it a little easier to grab. We're gonna use it right away, but just in case, I'll store it here. Now that our service account is set up, we need to enable the Google Sheets API. So head back to the navigation menu and go down to APIs and Services to the dashboard. In here, we'll enable APIs and Services. And here, we'll look for the Google Sheets API. Click on Google Sheets API and click Enable. Next, let's head over to Google Sheets. I have a document here called Incoming Text Messages with a Google Sheet called Twilio Sheets. I'm gonna click the Share button, and here we want to share this with the email address that we got out of the service account, and click Send. Next, we need a couple of IDs out of this document. The first thing we need is up here in the URL bar, and it's the thing that comes right after slash D and runs up right before the slash before edit. This is the document ID and we'll want to store that for later. Uh, so I'm gonna head back to my notepad document and just call this document ID. 
and paste it here so I can get access to it later. The only other thing that we need is the sheet name, and that's just Twilio Sheets, as it says down at the bottom of the document. Now that we have all of the information that we need, we can head over to the Twilio Code Exchange. Under the filters, turn on Quick Deploy, and here we're looking for the Google Sheets Quick Deploy. And here it is off of the second page. I'll click on that to go to the log incoming text messages in Google Sheets Quick Deploy project. And here's where we're going to enter the information that we collected before. The first thing you'll want to do is pick a Twilio phone number from the dropdown. It'll be numbers that you've already purchased in your Twilio account. I'm using 267-214-5443. Next, we need the document ID and sheet name. I'm just going to grab the document ID out of the text file that I created earlier and paste it in here. And of course, the sheet name was Twilio Sheets. Then it's going to ask for Google credentials. This is a big JSON blob that's stored in that text file that you saved earlier. I'm going to paste that in here now. And then we can click deploy your application and try it out. Now that the application is deployed, let's see it live. We can click on the go to live application button. And here it'll tell you all of the steps that you need to do to get everything up and running. We've already completed all of this so if I take out my phone, I can send a text message and I'm going to send a message that says, hi, it's Brent. And when I send it, I'll get a message back that says the SMS was successfully saved. And if we were to go look in our Google Sheet, we'll see it's right there. I got the SMS ID, the phone number that it came from and the message that came through. Awesome, so the application is working, but that's just one side of the story. We can actually edit this application to make it our own. If you just click on edit this application, this will open up our application inside of Twilio Functions, which is a serverless environment where you can create applications. Our application is already created. We can just head in here to make some changes. The two main functions driving the logic of this application are the log SMS, and check sheets config function. I want to change the message that gets sent back to the texter, so I'm going to click on the log SMS function. Here's the code that's driving this entire application. I want to change the message that we send back to the texter to say thanks for your feedback, since I'm imagining we'll ask people to text us their private feedback about this video. So if we head down in the code, we can find where the response is, and here it is. It says the SMS was successfully saved. I'm just going to come in here and change this to say Thanks for your feedback, exclamation point, smiley face. Everyone loves smiley faces. And I'll click save on the function and that'll save it. And then I wanna click the deploy all button down here at the bottom to deploy the function to the cloud. Now that I've made the change, I'm going to take my phone back out and I'm also going to open up the Google Sheets so that we can see this live. And I'm going to send a message that says, hi again, from Brent, a great video. And then I'm gonna send it. We should get back our new response that we changed inside of the function. There, now it says thanks for your feedback. And as you can see inside of Google Sheets, it's been logged safely to our sheet. Code Exchange quick deploys really are the quickest and easiest way to get up and running with common Twilio use cases. There are code exchange quick deploys for a wide variety of Twilio's products. Now that you have a system to log your incoming text messages to Google Sheets, check out this video to learn how to get up and running with another code exchange quick deploy.